Lesson 7 Basic Configuration Inventory In this chapter, we'll discuss about the features related to inventory that are available in Busy. Busy provides a lot of inventory related features using which you can maintain stock efficiently and very quickly. In our previous chapter, we have discussed about accounting related features. In this chapter, we'll discuss how we can use and configure inventory related features provided in Busy for basic addition. First of all, we'll go to Administration Configuration Features Options Inventory tab. Here you can see a lot of inventory options are provided. Some options are disabled because those options are not part of our basic edition. They are part of our standard edition or enterprise edition. So here we'll discuss the options that are available in basic edition starting with the first option quantity decimal places in this option you can specify the number of decimal places required with the quantity of the item next is item wise discount decimal places you can specify the number of digits or number of decimal places for item wise discount next option is enable multi go down inventory using multi go down inventory feature you can maintain stock at multiple go downs or material center we can say Material center is a place where we keep the stock, be your go downs, showrooms, retail stores, or even an Almira. So any place where you keep your stock is called as material center. So you can maintain stock at multiple material centers. On selecting this option, an options for MC level window appears with an option material center at item level. If you enable this option, then you can specify a material center at item level also, that is in, during voucher entry. If this option is enabled, then you can specify separate material center with each item. Otherwise, if this option is disabled, then you can specify only one material center with the whole voucher. One more point to note here is that if you enable this option and enter a transaction, then you cannot disable this option afterwards. Next option is separate stock updation date in dual vouchers. Using this option, you can specify separate stock updation date in dual vouchers. Dual vouchers are those vouchers in which both account and inventory are affected like sale purchase voucher. So in sale purchase voucher, dual vouchers, you can specify a separate stock updation date. One is your voucher date that is on which the bill is entered and one is stock updation date that is on which the stock is moved out from the material center or moved in in the material center. Basically, during voucher entry, when you press enter key on the voucher date, a stock updation date window will appear in which you can specify the stock updation date. Next is separate stock valuation method for items. Enable this option if you want to maintain separate stock valuation method. Stock valuation method, it is the method you want to use to evaluate the closing stock of the item. If you want to specify a separate method with each item, then you can enable this option. Next options are allow sales return in sales voucher and allow purchase return in purchase voucher. Using these options, you can specify sale return or purchase return details in sale or purchase voucher itself. For example, a customer is returning some goods and at the same time he is buying some goods from you. So in the sales voucher, you can specify the goods that the customer is purchasing and you can enter the goods that are returned by the customer with a negative sign that is a minus symbol. Quantity entered with a minus symbol will be treated as sale return quantity and the amount of the same will be reduced from the voucher amount and the inventory will be increased because we have received back a certain quantity. Next options are validate sale return with original sales and validate purchase return with original purchase. If you want to validate the purchase return or sale return with the original sale or purchase, then you can enable this option. Basically, on enabling these options while entering sale return or purchase return voucher, you can specify the details of the original sales voucher or original purchase vouchers and in some way you can tag you can tag that this sale return or purchase return is against this sale or purchase voucher. And at the same time, if you do not enter correct sale purchase, original sale purchase details, Busy will also show you a message. Next is enable bill sundry narration. Enable this option if you want to specify narration with each bill sundry you will apply in the voucher. Next, item wise discount type that is you want to provide simple discount with the item or you do not want to apply it item wise discount, then you can select the option accordingly. Next is stock valuation method. You can see an exhaustive list of stock valuation method is provided in Busy. You can choose the stock valuation method which is best suited to your business type. The option you will select here will be used for evaluating closing stock of the item. However, if you have enabled the option of separate stock valuation method with each item, then you need to specify the separate stock valuation method along with each item. 
and in any case with any item if you have not specified a stock valuation method then this method you specify here will be treated as the default stock valuation method on selecting a stock valuation method on another option is appearing maintain mc wise if you enable this option then you can maintain stock valuation method material center wise also next is tag sale purchase account with sale purchase type master item master item group master or material center master that is you want to tag sale purchase account with which master basically whatever master you will select here you need to specify the sale purchase account with that master it is whenever the goods are sold or purchased then which account is to be affected you can specify that account in the selected master next is tag stock account with material center master item group master or tax category master that is you want to tax stock account with which master for example if you select material center master then you need to specify the stock account in the material center master itself that is whenever the stock will be in or out this particular stock account will be affected next is skip item default price during voucher modification if this option is enabled then the default item price will not be picked during voucher modification for example if you have changed the price of an item then its automatic price will not be picked from the item master next option is enable free quantity in vouchers enable this option if you want to maintain free quantity details in voucher on enabling this option you can specify the quantity in the form of 4 plus 1 or 5 plus 2 that is you can specify the free quantity with a plus symbol quantity entered after a plus symbol will be treated as free quantity and quantity entered before the plus symbol will be treated as built quantity for example if you have specified 4 plus 1 then 4 will be your built quantity and 1 will be your free quantity on selecting this option a window will appear in which an option is appearing that calculate vat on item free quantity in case of tax on mrp that is if you charge tax on mrp then is vat is to be calculated on free items or not Next option is allocate additional expense voucher wise if you want to allocate certain additional expenses voucher wise then you can enable this option basically while saving the vouchers a window will appear in which you can specify the expense related to that voucher next is allocate expense purchase to item on enabling this option in accounting vouchers like payment and receipt voucher you can allocate additional expenses or purchases to item for example if you are making an entry for advertisement expenses then a window will appear in which you can specify the items to which you want to allocate those expenses advertisement expenses or any purchase to those items next is show items current balance during voucher entry enable this option if you want to view items current balance during the voucher entry that is the item you have selected in the voucher visible will show its current stock on the screen in the form of a label next option is maintain drug license this option is useful for pharma businesses if you enable this option then you can specify the drug license number for your parties and your company itself Next option is update item prices from voucher. If you enable this option then you can update item prices from voucher itself. That is the price you will enter in the voucher will be updated back in the item master as the default item price. On selecting this option you can specify whether you want to update item sale prices or purchase prices or both. Next option is do not maintain stock balance not applicable at item level and in all items that is you do not want to maintain stock balance not applicable this option is not at all applicable at item level that is you want to specify with each item that whether the stock of this item is to be maintained or not and in all items that is you do not want to maintain stock with any of the items now here a question arises that why we don't want to maintain stock for an item then this option is useful for service items for example you have an item for amc then you do not want to maintain stock for that item on selecting any of the option an update default value window will appear in which busy is asking don't maintain stock applicable not applicable or cancel that is the option you have selected in the do not maintain stock balance option will be applicable for all the items will not be applicable for all the items or you want to cancel this command Next is item wise markup type that is you want to maintain simple markup for all the items or you do not want to maintain markup details for the items. Next you can see item pricing mode in vouchers. Using this option you can specify or predefine the pricing modes for the items that will be picked in the vouchers. On clicking this button you can see a lot of pricing modes are appearing though some are disabled here because they are part of our standard edition or enterprise edition. And one more thing to note here is that you can specify separate pricing modes for sales voucher and purchase voucher. 
So first option here is show party's last price in sales voucher. That is item's price is to be picked as per the price at which the item is last sold to the party. This option is party specific that is the price at which the item is sold or purchased to the party will only be picked. Next option is last item price that is you want to pick item price on the basis of last transaction made of that item irrespective of the party. Next default pick from item master that is pick price from the item master the price specified in the item master as default price will be picked during voucher entry. Next option is above pricing modes applicable to that is the pricing mode you have selected is applicable for price and MRP of the item. It's applicable for discount or markup or is this pricing mode is applicable for both the options. Next is treat MRP as sale price. Enable this option if you want to treat MRP as your sale price itself. Click OK button to save the required pricing mode that you have selected. So these are all the inventory related features provided in basic edition of Busy. Click save button to save the configured details. At the end of the chapter, we have provided certain exercise. You can view the exercise on screen and attempt it. Hope after going through this video, you would be able to easily use and configure inventory related features in Busy. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.